Each light bulb came packaged in this cardboard shipping tubes, as well as being in a, a big box with a lot of paper wrapping, so they arrived safely. Uh, the two foot ones are just the normal premium lights. They're clear, 4,000 degree K, and the two large ones are the extra high output ones that have uh, you know, quite a bit more light output, and they cost quite a bit more. And uh, we'll see how those things go. Uh, I'll uh, show you how to install these things in the fixtures, and then we'll see what they look like. There's the information on the bulbs, and I noticed that each tube came with a set of instructions, and then the box came with a set of instructions, and uh, man, we got a lot of instructions here. Let me give you a look at what before is. We got two four-foot bulbs over, over here, two two-foot bulbs, and this one has two two-foot bulbs, and maybe you can get an idea of how much light there is. I, I don't know. These cameras auto-correct. They auto-correct for color, and we'll see what happens. It's actually plenty of light, but it's not super bright, and I'm hoping for a little more brightness and uh, getting rid of the buzz of the ballast. Okay, I took the bulbs out of the fixture. And you notice that there's a little metal th catch here. You make it horizontal. And the cover comes all the way on. And now we can get to all, everything inside. See what we got. On this end, we can see the two, two uh, connectors. I guess they call them tombstones. There's two red wires going to this one, two red wires going to this one. On this end, you can see there's two yellow wires going to this one and two blue wires going to this one. Coming in for the power, you can see we got a white wire and a black wire coming in. You can kind of see I'm touched right where the line, line in is coming in. I'm to my finger on camera. Okay, let me just see here. This is the wire coming in. You can kind of see there's the ground. Here's the tools you're going to need to do this job. Got a pair of wire cutters, a permanent magic marker, and a cigarette lighter. Those are the tools you're going to need. Yeah, you know, optionally, I might need some wire nuts, so I got those, maybe a pair of pliers, maybe a screwdriver, and a voltmeter. Oh yeah, and another important thing is you're going to need a lamp in order to illuminate things while you work on them. Maybe a, a ladder. These bulbs, you, you, both wires going on the, on the same end. So on the same end, I cut all the blue and yellow wires. So I got some nice long wires here. Remove the wire nuts going to the black and white line-in wires. And then you can see I wrapped up all the, the, the black and white wires going to the, the ballast and the, the blue and the yellow wires going to the ballast. On the other end, these don't matter. I just left them there. They don't hurt anything because there's no connection on that end. Now there are other types of bulbs, uh, the non-UL bulbs, that when you hook them up, you, you uh, have the, the line on one end and the neutral on the other end. But uh, and then they can both hook together or just do one; it doesn't matter. And uh, but that's a different wiring thing. That's uh, not, not not these bulbs here. But I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Now let me give you the coolest trick uh, tip for stripping these wires. Uh, most wire strippers, you put a wire strip on there and you peel off the insulation and you can nick the wire and things can go wrong. But I got me a cigarette lighter. This is just the most awesome way to do these things. Kind of heat up a little bit so it's a little bit melted up. And then you let it cool down so you don't burn your finger. If it cools down, it comes right off. Let's take a look at that one. You can see how nicely it's stripped. So that's the way to do it. Let's talk about the subject of shunted uh, sockets. Now, whenever you buy these things, they have these big things about shunted sockets. They want you to buy shunted sockets and, and blah, 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 blah. I've done a lot of these things. I've never had a shunted socket. One thing you know is that there's two wires going to here, which means there's two separate wires, and wires cost money, and they don't run two of them for, for no reason. Uh, and, and just your standard ballast just does not have the shunted uh, sockets, or the shunted tombstones as they like to call them. So you don't need them, don't bother with them. And I even took an ohm meter and measured blue to blue and yellow to yellow, and there's no continuity. So these are definitely not shunted, because what it is is uh, the contact on this side is one side, the contact on the other side is the other side. And that's where we're going to wire up the line. Now we're getting ready to hook these things up. If you notice, I took one of the, the blue wires and one of the yellow wires. You know, it's one wire goes to one socket, the other wire goes to the other socket. Tighten them around there, 
And then, just for fun, you kind of tighten these things up with a pair of pliers. Well, that's another tool you need. You do need a pair of pliers. And then we take our wire nut. Make sure we get that thing on there. Oh yeah, that's so solid tight, that's not coming off. Now we're all done. We got one yellow and blue wire on the black line, and one yellow or and uh, blue wire on the white neutral. And it doesn't really matter which side the socket goes where, even if they do have it marked, I mean, it just doesn't matter. And we're all set. Now here's the most important part. Now that's one thing I don't like about these bulbs, is they didn't come with any stickers. Like I ordered some other bulbs and they came with some stickers that I would stick on to let everybody know that they're LED only. So that's what I use my permanent magic marker for. And I indicate that they're LED only and that the line is only fed from the left. And so, uh, you know, LED only, no, no fluorescence because uh, they're not gonna work right. There'd be a, a big disaster if you put a fluorescent bulb in here. There's the old ones and there's the new one. It does look a lot brighter, and most of it's because it's all focused down, and of course, if it wasn't focused down, it'd just be a waste of light, but it uh, looks pretty good. The color temperature exactly matches the fluorescence at 4,000 degrees, and I got clear because I didn't want anything to, to block the light. I didn't need any diffusing because I've already got a diffuser. So let me go hook this thing up with the diffuser so you can see what it really looks like for an honest comparison. Okay, here we go. Those are the old, those are the old, and here's the new one. And you can definitely tell it's certainly a lot brighter. Let's get a, if you look at the top down and over here, a little dimmer. Plenty of light, but certainly dimmer. And we'll go back. Here's with the new one. So uh, it's definitely a beautiful color temperature. Let's get them both in the same shot. So you can see the, the fluorescent to the left and the LED to the right. And 4000K is the perfect color. Now we seem to have the same situation on the four foot one as we did on the two foot fixture. We have a red to blue on this end, a ballast, and a yellow, and a yellow, and a yellow, and a yellow, and the, the line's over here. And it's kind of a too long a run to go to those blue, blue and uh, red ones. So I'm just gonna have uh, two yellows and two yellows. Being very, very, very careful, I, I hook up one yellow from one fixture, and another yellow from the other fixture. Let's just go ahead and do that. The four foot fixture again. As I pointed out before, there's two reds, two blues, but there's only two yellows. And uh, ooh, I was a little worried, I was a little worried, afraid I wouldn't be able to hook up there. And uh, the safest thing would have been to hook up on the end where there's the four wires and you know what's going on. But I used my trusty ohm meter and I determined that one wire goes to both sockets on one side, and the other wire goes to both sockets on the other side, so this is safe to hook up, but uh, you know, unless you have an ohm meter verify it, you know, it's a little hard to know exactly what's going on, but uh, that, that is the case. I guess they wanted to save a little, little wires, save some money on some wires in these things. So this will be, be just fine to hook up. I'll hook up uh, one yellow to the, to the line, the other one to the neutral, you know, the white wire and the black wire. Now if you notice, this installation had two black wires and two black wires, and that's because these things are all kind of daisy chained. And so just for the fun of it, since I had them, I had extra large wire nuts and I used the larger wire nuts just to make sure, but I, I'm sure the smaller wire nuts would have worked too. But, just, but sometimes you see different things, but uh, these are some of the things that you might see when you do these things. Is bright. So here's the one I already did the LED. And of course I got the diffuser on it. Here's a, a normal fluorescent without the diffuser. And here's these high output ones of, without the diffuser. And man, look at those things go. I mean, the color temperature, I'm trying to give you a bunch of angles so you can really see the difference in the color temperature Betwe between the, the center thing is the fluorescent and here's the LED. Here's the high output LED. And uh, take a look, I mean, how bright that counter surface is, how dim this counter surface is, and how medium bright this counter surface is, of course, once I put these plastic uh, diffusers in there, it'll be different. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, just for comparison, I put the diffusers in. We got the four foot high outputs, a regular 220 watt regular fluorescence, and then the, the, the premium uh, uh, tw uh, two foots. And you, you can definitely see there's a lot more light from those two fits, foots over the, the, the two fluorescents, a lot more light. And the high output, 
is uh, really really doing well. I don't know whether it's all that much brighter than if it had been non high output because uh, just uh, the, the regular two footers seem to give a lot of light. See how much light's there? How much light's there? I, I don't know if I can really tell a big difference considering we've got two four foots versus two two foots. You'd expect twice as much light here even without the high output. So I don't know whether it's worth spending an extra five dollars a bulb for the high output puts, but uh, they really do look nice. The color temperature is really nice. Let's get some more looks at the color temperature. And then the color temperature, maybe those two would be a nice one. I really want to give you a good comparison. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to end, end the, the review now. And two thumbs up for the 4000K ELED light, light bulbs. They've done a great job with these things. High quality all the way. Okay, all the bulbs have been changed now. And if you can move back to before and after, this is just amazing. Tons of light, beautiful light. Look at how bright these things are. Oh man, we live like pigs. Look at all this dirt here. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, I'm seeing things I never saw before. Uh, quite a bit brighter. And you notice there's no hum. Right up here, not a, silence, complete silence. No hums, no nothing. So this is what I was looking for.